So I'd like to emphasize what we were just talking about. So now we have our chair monosubstituted cyclohexane chair structure with all its hydrogens in there. So we're looking at the substituent to be this blue atom there. Okay, we'll call that X. And remember, when we have a chair flip, what happens? This portion goes up like that, and this portion goes down like that. That's why this X is here, okay? Remember also, I'm just going to show the hydrogen that's on the same carbon as X. We have that hydrogen there, which is now there. So, what do we say? That initially, the substituent, X, is in an axial up position. When we do the chair flip, after the chair flip, the substituent X is now in an equatorial up position. Okay? So it goes from axial to equatorial, but it stays up. And so how can we justify that, the up part, right? Because X is above the hydrogen there, right? So it's up there. And of course it's axial, we all know that. This one it's equatorial, and X is still above the hydrogen. So it's up, okay? So up stays up during a chair flip, down goes down, or down stays down during a chair flip. But axial goes to equatorial, and equatorial goes to axial. So just to remind us, right? So carbon one is now right there, okay? So if this is carbon two, carbon two, carbon three is right there, carbon four, remember it went up, it's right there, carbon five, it's right there, carbon six, it's right there. And let's show, lastly, the chair flip with our model, okay? So we have the axial up substituent, right? Axial and up because the hydrogen's below it. Now let's do the chair flip, okay? Take all the axials and go to equatorials. So easy enough, okay? And so hopefully you see now we're in an equatorial up position, right? Up because it's above that hydrogen, okay? And I can see some of us wanted to flip back, so let's flip it back. Now it's in an axial up position. Okay. I'm gonna pass this around and then we'll answer any questions, I think, in a subsequent video, okay? Cool.